Hello! So, we're back again with the Pinebook Pro. Being an early adopter means that sometimes you have to update some stuff that normal users wouldn't have to, but hey, that's also a little bit of, of fun. So, today we'll update the trackpad firmware. And yeah, there is a warning that your keyboard and or mousepad might stop working during the upgrade. So, yeah, I'll show you. I also connected a USB keyboard. And yeah, just for a little fun, this is actually a foldable keyboard. And in case you're wondering what the funny characters are, I bought this in Korea. So, uh, it also has the Korean characters on the keyboard. And uh, just to be safe, I also connected a USB mouse. And since it didn't like my white table, I just using a magazine uh, as a mouse pad. So now we're going back to the update process. So um, yeah, there were some people who mentioned that it wasn't really visible last time so I'm really zooming in on the screen now and also in control center and then let's see what was it again appearance I've changed changed the font size from 12 to 16 so please let me know if this is enough or that you would prefer even bigger fonts Okay, so for now I already did a little bit of preparation. I already put the update commands in a text file, so I'm just copying it. And in this case, I'll uh, also put the text uh, in the comments, but yeah, you can also find it on the forum of uh, the Pine organization. So here we go. Well, that was quick. Now, oh, of course, I want to continue. Make. Okay. Okay, sudo reboot. You might hear a high pitched noise, and I read on the forums that, well, that is sort of expected, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, actually the keyboard is still working.
but the trackpad isn't so in that case it's a good thing I just connect this a mouse Oops. Oh, yeah, of course. First we need to do the change directory. And the high pitch noise is gone. So reboot. And we're back again. I'm just noticing I don't have <coughs> sorry everything in the frame, so I'm just adjusting the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you start Chromium, uh, it wants you to use the password keyring, whatever. Um, we'll also do a quick test with YouTube. No, there's no need to translate it. And I already tested some movies. So I'm using, or, or I'm going to show you uh, the movie Spring by the Blender Foundation. Um, it's Creative Commons, so it means we can show it without having to worry about copyright, which makes life a whole lot easier. And we are going to show it in 1080p and we'll do it full screen. Well, recording an LCD screen with a camera is not uh, doing the screen any justice, but I think it comes out reasonable. And, well, Well, I guess uh, this is enough for now, because we're not really a movie review website. So I hope you enjoyed this movie. Let me know in the comments uh, if it was readable, the text, and uh, hope to see you next time.